And then I'll go ahead and just double click on this and click yes to the user account control. And then here I'll leave it at the default location. Once it's done, I'll go ahead and click close. And that's pretty much all there is to installing 7-Zip. If you want to know if it actually installed, you can always click on the start menu here and look for it in your apps. Right here it says recently added 7-Zip file manager. So one of the cool things about 7-Zip is you can right click and it should appear in your right click menu. So it's pretty handy. Anyways, that's all there is to installing 7-Zip.